to the Batokabi family, Ako Bicol family, my fellow lawmakers, and all guests, good morning. Nawala na naman po kami na isang minority. Uh, I remember, few months ago, si Congressman Akoy, kalalang. Ah, siguro tatanungin ko ulit ang Panginoon, ba't naman sa minority pa ako kayo kumukuha? Kukunti kami. <laughs> Today, we say goodbye to a good husband, a responsible father, a hard-working colleague, a trusted friend, and an outstanding lawyer and lawmaker. Congressman Rodel. Patokabe. Rodel was a simple man. From humble beginnings, he worked hard to succeed in life. We are inspired by how he overcome life's challenges through faith, dedication, and perseverance. Rodel was an active member of the House minority and a prolific lawmaker. As a legislator, he was the vice chairperson of three major house committees, dangerous drugs, good governance in public accountability, and natural resources. He also stood on issues on transportation, environment, PWD, and senior citizens. He was known to have authored and co-authored several significant bills that were enacted into law, such as the Anti-Bullying Act of 2013, the Electric Cooperative Emergency and Resiliency Fund Law, and the Expanded Natural Integrated Protected Area System, which were both signed into law last year. The work of Prodel during his nine years in Congress is a living testament of his dedication to public service. Rodel had a joyful disposition, was always happy and cordial. Indeed, it is always difficult to say goodbye to a kind and decent man. To Rodel's wife, Gertie and sons, Attorney Justin and Kiel, and the rest of the Batukabi family, Please accept our deepest condolences. We pray for your family's strength and courage as you face the coming days. We, we commend the authorities, most especially the PNP, for working hard towards the resolution of the case. We pray that the Lord will continue to guide them in finding justice for Odell. The last time I, I saw Rodel was during our Christmas party. Uh, we we're both having fun with the minority, and but he has to be big goodbye because he said he has some he has to leave for the province. I asked him to pass by my secretary. I, I have my Christmas package for you. So he passed by my office. And uh, when he received the package, he said to my secretary, please tell Manong Dani, I will miss him. I'll never forget that. I close my eulogy with the words of the late President Nelson Mandela. Death is something inevitable. When a man has done what he considers his duty to his people and his country, he can rest in peace. Thank you.